What's going on, guys? I got my friend Ryan in the call with me, and we just want to talk for a few minutes about the broken Xbox One disk drives that a lot of people are experiencing. It is November 22nd, 2013. The Xbox One is now available to purchase, and a lot of people are coming home from the midnight launch. They're plugging up their Xbox One. They're getting the mandatory patch required to even play the Xbox, and then once that gets done, they're putting in their games, and the disk drive does not even read the disks. Xbox One has put out a support page on the matter, and basically I'm just going to sum it up. They said check the disk for scratches or smudges. Now really Xbox, these are brand new video games that were just released, and they're telling you to make sure that the disk is clean. I'm pretty confident that these disks are not broken, and it is in fact the disk drive. It makes a horrible sound for those that are experiencing problems. And I'm just wondering exactly the number of people that are experiencing these issues because I've seen a lot of them. Even on YouTube, I've seen them tweeting, and it seems to be a whole lot more people experiencing problems with their Xbox One than with the less than 1% of PS4 failure, which came out last week. So first and foremost, Ryan, what are you thinking about this new Xbox One with broken disk drives? I'm thinking they may come out with a nickname for it, like the Garbage Disposal of Death. Oh, absolutely. There's something wrong with these systems, and I really don't understand how Microsoft goes from point A to point B without realizing that some of these systems do have this error. Maybe they didn't care, uh, but you'd have to think Microsoft has a way higher standard than that, than to ship consoles that are uh, defective, I guess you would say. Um, the video that you showed me earlier, when that guy put that disc in the tray, I didn't even read the title. I was just wondering, um, what, maybe he had something that he wanted to show us on the video and I heard some weird noise. I like, looked behind me because I have a garbage disposal in my house, and I thought it turned on. I'm like, what the hell was that noise? And then I replayed the video, and you could clearly hear, as soon as he put the disc in his, it, like, immediately, as it went fully in, it sounded like something, like, almost like a jackhammer or garbage disposal. And I don't understand why that happened. Maybe, um... I don't know, like, I just, I really don't know. That's how bad it is. Like, it's something that you really can't even put into words, how something gets shipped that way. Uh, and London, you said that there's a lot of people saying that that exact thing is happening right now. Yeah, there's a lot of people complaining about it on Twitter, in YouTube comments of videos showing the broken consoles. I mean, there's just hundreds of people complaining, and they have tons of thumbs up. Now, keeping in mind, some of those thumbs up are probably Sony fanboys that are laughing, but... There's still a lot of people complaining that their Xboxes are broken, and they really need to get this matter solved and issued and worked out. Almost oh, definitely. I just, I just really don't understand it right now. I have no words to describe it. Um, I cannot wait to see Microsoft's response to all this. Maybe an official response. Maybe they're going to tell everybody what to do, send it back in, go through the support, and that's going to take a long time for you guys to get your consoles back. Maybe you take it back to Walmart, GameStop, wherever you got it from, get a refund, get a new one. But they probably don't even have more than what you already got. So this may end up being a pretty big disaster for Microsoft. There's a lot of people out there that are having this issue. And we want to know if any one of you guys are having any of these issues. Let us know in the comments below what you did to fix it, if there is a fix. what If you took it back, if you got your money back, what you did. We really want to know that. But that's pretty much it for me. Let me go ahead and finish up this video. We just want to get a short little video out here to tell you what was going on. And ask if you guys had any problems. Yeah, guys, that's all we're wanting to know is how many people are actually experiencing this issue. And you got to keep in mind, this thing just come out at midnight. All these people are experiencing problems right now, and you have got to think that somewhere out of all these midnight releases, there is some certain percentage that are probably parents who decided to pick up the console to give their children for Christmas. And, you know, if it is a defective console, once Christmas gets here, with it being a broken disk drive, they're going to have to mail in that console and wait an extra few weeks, maybe upwards to a month. So these kids aren't going to have their Xbox Ones probably until sometime in February if they got a defective one. I mean, I see this being a very large problem for Microsoft. It just makes you wonder how they did not, you know, at least test some of these things before they shipped them. Now, there were a lot of people experiencing the blue light of death on PlayStation 4, as I have mentioned. You know, it came out a week ago. And it was less than 1% failure rate, but, you know, just within the few hours that the Xbox One has launched, so many people have been coming out and saying that their system is broken and it will not work, 
And that's exactly why we wanted to go ahead and put this video out there to see just exactly how many people are experiencing this issue. It's a very, very big deal. And, you know, you have people that spent close to $700 on the Xbox One with the console, Xbox Live, and a game. And that's not even counting possibly an extra controller. So, yeah, guys, hopefully they get this matter solved very, very quickly so everyone can start playing their next-gen consoles. That's pretty much it for me and Ryan. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video, and like we said, let us know if there's something that you've come across that actually fixes the matter to solve the broken disk drive. So that's it, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace out. Ain't no towels going to solve this one. <laughs>